Hey guys, it's me, Stella Sims 101, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Big Sister Challenge Part 51, I believe. So, uh, here we are. Country's going up in flames currently. I'm stressed, and my head is banging because I'm stressed, and it's a good day. Today is November 8th, and it's the presidential election, and everything's going crazy, and that's just where we are at this point, so I'm trying to get away from all that. I'm trying to record here, so... Hope you guys enjoy. Hope this takes your mind off of the uh, election a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, here we are back with Claire. And she is currently having a little ladies night with Olivia Spencer Kim Lewis. <laughs> and, uh, which I thought was really fun because we definitely have not been out with her in a while. And, you know, we had that, like, little thing with her for a little bit and she's like our best friend so yeah here we are at a bar in Windenburg and yeah uh I realize it's been quite a while since I have updated you guys with this household so currently their house is completely finished I furnished it it looks great in my opinion <laughs> and I don't know, I think I'm pretty happy with it, so hopefully you guys will like it once we get back. I just thought, hey, it's freaking Olivia Spencer Kim Lewis, so we have to go out with her. Oh my, who, who is this? Oh, I think it's one of the custom sims I placed who I... Oh my god! <gasps> Joshua! <laughs> Josh has been promoted to MVP, Most Valuable Player. He will now make an additional 112 simoleons per hour. For a grand total of 242 simoleons per hour, he has also received 908 simoleons, a treadmill, boy! And his next shift is tomorrow, so that's pretty good. We have 12 days, 12 vacation days. You know what? I, I've been saying this for so long, but we actually need to go on a vacation with these guys. Like, I'm pretty sure, uh, no, no, no. Jace is aging up really soon. Four sim days, guys. Four freaking sim days. Claire is aging up in three. Like, it's just a real... Real big. Just so many things are happening, guys. It's insane. And, um, we still need to spend time with our father. Because, I mean, I want to invite him right now. But it's ladies' night, so, I mean, now is not exactly the right time. By the way, I'm not a big fan of this bar. It's, there's not much to do here. Like, she's just literally washing her hands in the bar. And, like, it's not like you can really do anything because I don't know where's the bartender hey lady I think this is Dina is that Dina no that's Eliza who am I what what did I even just ask <laughs> Eliza pancakes like please I'm pretty sure that's the boy I really need to fix this I mean hey it could be a style for her you know that's fine I shouldn't be judging over here oh I love your little hairstyle girl i love this came with city living <laughs> i hope you guys are enjoying that lp i just feel like i was just so into this expansion pack that i had to make a let's play on it oh my god ask her for a small loan please ask for it and don't pay her back please sorry olivia sorry did I just say Saria, Olivia? Sorry, Olivia, but I mean, I just, I, we need the money. We just, look at our funds, 6,000 simoleons. I mean, that's more than, five, 500, you little, I know where you live. I know where the hell you live, Olivia? And you're out here giving us 500 simoleons? How? What kind of a friend are you, huh? I know you live in a mansion. I'm shook. I am so shook. Wow. Wow. Ooh, let's play this. Yeah. 
And whoever, this is, this little llama right here, that's America. And this right here, whoever knocks it down, they're going to be president. <laughs> that's honestly how this election is going. Uh, it's a good day, guys. It's a good day. But enough talk about election stuff. I shouldn't be talking about this because, let's face it, it's stressful for anyone. So I'm not going to add that to my videos. Anyways... Oh, hello, we were talking to you. Why are you leaving us, Olivia? Why? Can't we pay, wait, is there an option to pay her back? Uh, oh. I don't see it anywhere. Oh, we could be, la, 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 la. can't talk for anything. We could become best friends, but I think we're already best friends with our husband, if I am correct. Oh, there it is. Repay loan. Can we just, like, never repay it? <laughs> that would be so great. <laughs> Hello, Clara. How are you? Oh, she's going to become president. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, st I just started talking about how I shouldn't be talking about this. Anyways, anyways. Everyone's going to be aging up. Like, all the teens are going to be aging up pretty soon. And also, Emma's going to be aging up really soon, which is uh, Claire's daughter. She's going to be aging up really soon, which is <laughs> really weird that we're going to have, like, a child in the house again. We haven't had a child in the house in a forever, it feels like. So, it'll be really weird. And, uh... I think that my plan is that maybe Selena and Erilyn will go into the big cities and my Shuno and get like an apartment together. I think that Jace will probably get married to, um, I know this is like way in the future, but he'll probably get married to Luna. Oh, she's a young adult. Oh, whoa. Okay, well, they're still boyfriend and girlfriend, so I think they're probably going to get married. I don't know. I think he's she's really right for him so I don't know I think that'll be a good deal and uh, yeah hey girl we were talking to you and then you went away from us so yeah what's up girlfriend oh yeah I for keep forgetting it's ladies time I was like uh, why are there so many women here it's ladies night alrighty so that's the end of ladies night and it's it's a little late or yeah, it's a little late. It's actually a little early if I'm being technical about this, but I want to go home and show you guys all the stuff that I did with the house because it's been a lot, and I know you guys are probably going to hopefully enjoy the new house and everything. Okay, goodbye. Thanks, Clara. Thanks for the talk. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Um, so yeah, I'll pick back... Uh, la, la, la. I will pick back up when... We are home. Okay, guys, so we are back, and here's our house, guys. Oh, here's our house. Oh, yeah, guys, here it is. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, here's our house. I think it's so adorable, and I really, really love it. So let's just get into this. So, oh, actually, I really want to show you because I gave this house some cute little lot traits because I can. So it's homey. The homey vibe helps Sims quickly master the domestic arts of cooking, mixology, handiness, and gardening. I thought that just fit so well because we got some cooking, some gardening, mixology, and handiness. I mean, that's just a given for everyone, so... We have bracing breezes. Oodles of fresh air make for a bracing environment to exercise. That was for Josh in specific. And then we have natural light. The quality of light here makes painting and photography much easier to master. That was definitely for Sierra. Alrighty. So I'm going to start off with showing you guys, showing you guys Sierra's side of the house. So this is the Sierra Scott Side. I think it's so cute and it's definitely very homey I feel like it's a little like packed which I feel like makes it feel very cozy in a way I don't know I really like how it's like cluttered and everything I love 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 it so I really like this room and uh, I love the colors and everything they just I really love it 
I definitely tried to go for a family looking side for Sierra because let's face it she has three kids and she's just a very mom person she's a mom guys the kitchen I really love because I just I'm in love with these counters and everything it's custom content and I love them to death here is this little random bathroom that I just had to squeeze in here. It was in the original build, and I was just like, you know what? What else am I going to put here? So I just kept it as a bathroom and made it a little bit nicer. Uh, I'll just keep going up, I guess. Uh, over here, this is a just a little study area for... <laughs> for I guess for Selena to do her homework in her uh, pantaloonies. Here is the Selena and what's her faces? Erilyn's room. It's their shared room. And I feel like there's definitely enough room for the both of them. And I definitely tried to capture each of their little looks. They're both still somewhat girly. I just feel like Selena's a bit more on the girly side. While Erilyn, you know, she has just some different color vibes, which I definitely like two uh over here is jace's room just your average boy room i guess i didn't really know what to do for this much so i just kept it pretty plain uh over here's their bathroom nothing special pretty cute upstairs this is basically sierra's like story like she has the third story her and Josh had the third story all to themselves, which is probably very nice. So here's their bedroom. I know it's in different colors than I usually did, like for the last God knows how many parts we've been in the last house. Uh, I just decided to try something new and different, and I put some of Sierra's and Claire's, for that matters, for that matter, paintings and drawings and stuff like that. Here's Selena's drawings. <laughs> Look at how cute. And, uh, yeah, just decorated it with some of their, uh, belongings and stuff. I tried to as best I could. Oh, hello. There is no wallpaper on there, so that's, that's good. That's what you need in every house. Just random bathroom with no wallpaper on part of it. Uh, here is their bathroom. Nothing special, but we do have a Claire painting in it. Outside, this is, like... Sierra's little domain. We have some of her little plants out here and stuff like that. So it's very cute out here. I really love the balcony. It's just so beautiful. And let's get into Claire because it's very different from uh, Sierra's side. Claire's, uh, she's definitely not embracing the family oriented feel. I definitely feel like she is more of like an independent person you know and I was just very much so feeling the modern with her like I know this isn't exactly the most modern house in the entire world well I'm gonna call this like an apartment I think uh, it's definitely not the most modern but or townhouse I guess this is a townhouse uh, it's definitely not the most modern but I think it is somewhat modern and I really love it and I think it fits them Especially uh, Claire. I think it definitely fits her. Uh, over here, it kind of continues. And you got, like, some bright colors, which I definitely like. And I really love this little dining room area. I think it's so cute. Over here, this is obviously Claire's domain. It's not as big as Sierra's. But I feel like I just... I don't know. I gave her the cup... I I don't know. I gave her the cupcake machine, so she definitely has something new in her kitchen that obviously Sierra doesn't have, but I also gave her some extra appliances that I did not give uh, Sierra, like the popcorn machine, and I think this is the ice cream machine, which apparently is already dirty. Oh, no, no, there's some salad underneath it, because, cause, you know, you just... Sometimes you make salad underneath your ice cream machine. It happens to the best of us. We have a microwave and a coffee maker, which doesn't actually work. I need to get a new one that actually works. I think this requires, like, a separate something. And, yeah, that is pretty much it for that. Oh, yeah, also squeezed in another bathroom because we needed that. <laughs> Upstairs, we have an empty room because, obviously, there's not enough people in the household yet. 
but it'll possibly get filled. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should she only have one kid or should she just keep on trucking along with kitties? You guys let me know. Over here, somewhat modern still, but this is just kind of like a little study area, I guess, and nothing too, too special. This is Emma's room, and I think it is the cutest little kids room I've ever I know the carpet and the walls don't match don't even get on my case about this I I'm I like this room okay aside from the carpet which I might actually change I really adore this room like this crib this is custom content oh my goodness I love it so much it's all pink and I it's just so pink and I definitely embraced I guess my pink side I didn't even know existed but it's there I really love this bathroom okay this bathroom is really cute I like how bright it is and like the colors match with like the toilet and the this little cabinet I think it's so cute like I know it's stupid to be worshiping a bathroom right now but honestly it's where you spend a good portion of the day <laughs> this is uh, Claire and uh, what's his face? Chad's side of the story of the house, I should say. I definitely tried to keep these similar in that the adults kind of get their own very secluded area away from the kids and everything. So for their morning, they can really just have some isolation, which I know is sad to think. And I don't think Claire, I mean, Sierra or Josh really actually use that to their adva advantage. It is 3 a.m. What are y'all doing? What is this? <laughs> y'all are up at 3 a.m. What are you doing? What are you doing? I mean, some of these people, how do you guys, how? That's just some of you guys don't even need energy at this point, hello? Why are you reading in your sister's bed when Selena is asleep? Get out. Goodness. No place allowed. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, I really love Claire's little story. I think it is so bright and just so vibrant and I really like it. I don't know. It's very pink, which I know she shares it with Chad, and I know he's supposed to be like this big bad boy, but let's face it, he has the biggest soft spot for Claire that honestly, it does not even matter how bad boy he is. He's wearing, he's wearing freaking heart panties. Like, let's, let's get real here. Let's get real on how much of a man Chad is, because... He's all act and not even really. So, you guys, come on. Come on. At least it's Saturday, so the kids, like, don't really need to get up for school. Selena's, like, already bright and early. Everyone's been uh, awake for the past long time. It's probably, they're probably all just, everyone seemed to be watching TV. They're probably watching the, the election. Let's, let's be real. Uh, vote, uh vote Claire for no 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 vote Amber Rouge for president please she knows the struggles of a single mother vote Amber Rouge if you watch my city living let's play you'll get what I'm talking about <laughs> let's make America Rouge again yes <laughs> anyways really like this and we got the little balcony I didn't actually change anything for Claire's balcony but you know it's there so I don't think she's gonna use it that much to be honest though to be completely honest with you all right and the baby's asleep now so that's good uh, I guess I should get rid of this caprizi pretty salad oh lord where did I put it did I put it in there I think I did alrighty so let's see what kind of meals we have in here we got some baked potatoes okay <laughs> that's about it so that's good oh she has a oh she has a birth certificate in her inventory I have to put that up I, I have to where is it where is it why is it why okay 
I don't know why that didn't go on the wall. Can we put it on the table? No. There we go. Oh, it's like in between their picks, so we know who the parents are. We know who procreated. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, what are you up to, Selena? She grabbed a baked potato. She already knows what's up. Baked potato for breakfast. What's good? <laughs> Alright, so I think she'll make... She'll just cook another gourmet meal. Like, let's let's get real. It's, it's Claire, so... We gotta. Alright, fruit and yogurt parfait will be good. Six simoleons, that is not that bad, really. That is not that bad. Alrighty. Uh, Selena, did you finish your homework, actually? No, you didn't. <laughs> it's Saturday, though, so you can chill out for a while, I guess. I guess. <laughs> even though, personally, I get my... Oh, I didn't even show you guys the backyard. Personally, I get my homework done, like, ASAP. But that's just me because I'm a nerd. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, this is the backyard. I didn't really change much. I don't remember how much I even showed you guys. I don't think there was a pool back here. I added a pool, guys. <laughs> and a uh, little garden area. This is all of, pretty much all of Cl uh, Sierra's plants that I took from, uh, whatchamacallit, from the old house. So, yeah. Here is the remains of our cow plant and our mother. <laughs> we'll love you forever, mom and cow plant. <laughs> I really want them to get another cow plant. Like, I totally messed up with the whole cow plant thing. I did not know what the hell I was doing with anything, so. Oh, yeah, I'm really, I really, I think this came with a new update, possibly. I don't think it came with the expansion pack. But this little, like, light bulb things that comes off of a sim's head when uh, they're working on their skill. I think that's so cute. <laughs> I don't know. It's the little things, guys. It's the little things that get me. Anyways, I'm probably going to have to end this, end this soon. Who is it? Oh my god. They hung up! What the heck? Oh my god, it was probably his girlfriend too. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm probably going to have to end it here. Why don't you actually clean that up? And... Go take a shower, I guess. May as well just get ready for the day. Oh, Josh is up. Hey, boy. How's it going? Why don't you take a little, take a little soak. Take a bath with some citrus soak. That'll make you even more energized than you already are. All right, we got Jace up. Jace, what's good, boy? What's good? All right, he needs to use the restroom. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> Selena, Selena, don't do it. Selena, he's about to get, he's about to strip down. Don't do it. That's your broski. Why don't you just come down here and take a shower? Why are you? Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think you can get into their house. You have a perfectly good dining table right in there, Claire. Don't even try to take my freaking hard work of this portion of your house for granted. Better not. You better not. I should probably put, like, some sort of... Chad is expected... Ugh. Chad is expected at work for the next shift after his family leave. He cannot take more family leave at this time. It's Emma's birthday! The time just flies by, doesn't it? Are you guys curious? Is she gonna be a blonde or is she gonna be a brunette? I sometimes I just I miss I miss it when Claire was a brunette. I mean a blonde. I sometimes I just miss it. What about you guys? Do you guys think I should ever change her back to a blonde? Maybe when she ages up, she'll go through like a midlife crisis, and I'll change her back into a blonde. That would be kind of fun. I feel like. <laughs> Anyways, oops. Anyways, guys, I am going to have to end this part here. Good place to end the part, just watching Jace hop into the shower. Uh, anyways, I love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Uh, if you did, 
don't forget to leave a like so that I know that you guys are enjoying this. And comment down below and subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye you guys! Thank you.